Hi everybody, this is Angie. I hope everybody's doing okay. As you all know, I have two very precious kitties, Yogi and Snuffy, and they're just as happy as can be. They're in a house, they're in a house of love in which they're fed, they're given water and shelter and necessary vet, veterinarian care. And there are many, there are many responsible pet owners who uh, make sure that their pets are well fed and they have fresh water and they're properly sheltered and receive the proper veterinarian care. But you know, sadly, not all animals are that lucky. I want to talk to you about my personal feelings about animal abuse. You know, animals have feelings too. They should, they let you know when they're happy. They let you know when they're hungry. They let you know when something's wrong. But whenever I see, whenever I see an animal being abused, I just feel like crying, I feel like yelling and everything because I wonder to myself, I wonder to myself, what did this animal do? What could this animal have possibly done to be abused, to be neglected, to be struck, to be burned? Um, animal abuse is, is um, according to the ASPCA, animal abuse is divided into two categories. There is neglect, in which um, is often caused by just ignorance or um, lack of money in which um, an animal is um, not adequately not adequately provided with food, water, shelter, etc. And then there's intentional cruelty. That's when an animal suffers um, physical abuse from being basically being beaten, burned, any type of physical and inhumane torture. You know, I'm sorry, I'm kind of getting a little choked up here. It's just, I mean, we have to want, we have to ask yourself, why? I mean, animals serve many purposes of life. They help to make our planet beautiful. Many animals can um, be of, um, they, many animals, they, they, many animals show us love and all. Some animals, like, like dogs and horses, they can be used as a means of um, therapy for those who are suffering from physical or mental um, disabilities. Um, I'm sorry if I'm using stereotypic words. Um, I apologize. It's just an impromptu thing. But yet, whenever if I'm watching TV and I hear a dog dog whining painfully or crying painfully, or if I hear a cat yelling, I just wanna I just wanna run up to that animal who's being abused, give it a big hug, and let them know that it's it's gonna be all right. And yet, sadly. Yet, sadly, not all animals who are rescued are lucky. They have to be put down. And that's not right. It's not fair. It just isn't fair. You know, just, just to me, one animal being abused is one too many. It's got to stop. Animals love us want unconditionally. And they just want the same. They want to be, love us unconditionally. You know, animals can't speak from themselves. They can't say, stop hurting me. Please give me food. I'm hungry. I just want to be loved. They can't do that. They cannot speak, but we can. So please, if you if you're wit if you witness an animal who's being abused, neglected, please report it to your local um, society for prevention of cruelty to animals or your local police department. And um, but you know another thing I want to add is that. In our country, in the United States, only 33 states, including this, in the District of Columbia, have um, consider um, animal abuse a crime, while the other um, the other 17 states um, the other 17 states really don't take the don't seem to really take the issue seriously. Ladies and gentlemen, this issue this issue deserves more deten more attention rather. Than it's receiving. Criminals usually, criminals who usually um, are convicted of animal abuse only get up to a maximum of one year in jail and a thousand dollar fine. That's a pretty length. That's a pretty um. That's a pretty linear li linear sentence compared to what a lot of these poor animals have to endure. One year in jail compared to many years of pain and agony and scarring that these poor animals must endure and maybe even even death. That just makes me angry. So, please, please stop abusing animals if you are. 
And as I said, if you if you know somebody who's abusing an animal, regardless of the size, just don't be silent. Don't just walk away. Do something. Because animals have feelings too. Animals are helpless. They don't have voices. We do. And we're not helpless. I thank you very much for taking the time to watch this little little brief video. Like I said, I'm sorry. I mean, this is a very touchy issue for me. But um, I thank you all for your attention. Peace to you all. Bye-bye.